Hello, my name is Scott Neal. Welcome back to another how-to segment. Today, I wanted to show you a very quick and easy way to either enable or disable a domain account using PowerShell. There are times maybe when you're not at your desk and don't have RSAT available, or you don't have the convenience of being able to quickly remote into the uh, domain controller to either enable or disable an Active Directory account. We do have the ability to use PowerShell in those instances to enable or disable accounts uh, remotely uh, if we're sitting at a client workstation or whatever, uh, we can log in with our credentials and actually facilitate uh, disabling and enabling accounts that way through PowerShell. So I wanted to give you a quick demonstration on how to do that. As you can see, I'm actually in my domain controller and I got my PowerShell up and running. But first and foremost, let me take you through a guided tour of Harold Hamster. This is Harold Hamster's account. And as we can see, Harold Hamster is a uh, member of the finance department for Chicky Fishy. And if I go into uh, his account through the account tab here, we can say his account is disabled. I'm going to enable that account and apply it just so you know it is indeed enabled. Nothing else is checked uh, except for this uh, user must uh, change password to first log on. So, um, let me go ahead and close that out, and let me go ahead and see. Say we get a, a, a phone call that uh, maybe the head of Fishy Chicky has called and said that Harold Hamster has quit, and we need to quickly disable his account. Well, we can do that simply by going in and uh, doing that through Active Directory. Like so. Uh, and then we say uh, Option Identity. And who is it? Well, it's going to be Hamster. What was his account? 0001. So, all right. Does help if you know the actual account. Doesn't work too well without it. Hamster 0001. Ta da! It's done. That's simple. So, if I go in and I show you his account again. And we look at his account, you will see if we scroll down, his account is now disabled. Very good. All right. Uh, boss calls back and says, uh, false alarm. Uh, he didn't leave. He's still back. Uh, or worse yet, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Harold Hamster accidentally locked himself out of his account and he needs to get back into his account. Is there a way we can do that? Uh, I don't want you to have to walk all the way back down to. Uh, the office to do that, there is a way that we can do that. Uh, you simply type in the same command, except this time we're going to say enable, and, and then of course hamster 0001, and ta da! If we go back in, we can see that that account should be enabled. And it is. We can tell because the check mark has been released. So, a very quick and easy way, uh, particularly if you are running around doing errands and you're going from station to station and you have this need to enable or disable a Active Directory account, just to show you, there is a very simple way that you can do this through PowerShell. It doesn't work, by the way, the command line utility. You have to do this through PowerShell and it works beautifully. All right. Another how-to segment done. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot.